I heard the story of a unique young man recently who used to go and he used to go and uh, uh, work out at a gym. And you know, in gym, all kinds of men and women are there. Muslim guy used to go there and he used to keep his eyes low, low every time, every time. And this girl at the reception, you know, and they're not dressed appropriately either. At the reception, she used to come check his card or whatever. Never looked up, constantly looked down. And he came every day, same way, never looked at her. And she knows, she works at the reception. She knows what men do when they walk in. She knows how they look at her. She knows. And she knows he doesn't look at her. So after like four months, she said, why don't you look at me? And he said, I can't. I, you know, I, I have to either I follow my temptations or follow Allah. That's it. You know, I, I just have to believe in, I believe in God. I, I, I can't. And he stopped coming after that because she talked to him and he thought this might turn into a fitna. He stopped coming. And she, the, the girl tells the story because she became a Muslim. She started looking up Islam after that because of the character of this young man. Subhanallah. So the, the young people, you guys, the, the, the young people here, by the way, you are more in touch with society than the elders here. The elders have a certain circle and they stay in that circle. You guys go to the mall, you go to campus, you go like hang out in different places, you meet America. <laughs> and through you, Islam will be exposed to America. But if you don't show Islam, if your character doesn't shine, then Islam will, America will never know what Islam is. Because our neighbors are not going to come into the masjid to learn what Islam is. They're not. The only time they will see Islam is through you, especially the young people here.